Let us bow our heads in prayer. Always loving God, we gather here this morning to celebrate that love that you have always had and will always have for us. We prepare today to celebrate that love that was so great that you sent your son to us to be born in a stable, unrecognized by most for who he really is. Thank you for that amazing gift. As always, when thinking about what you've done for us, we remember and pray for those who are struggling in this world. We pray for all the children in Peshawar who will not get to experience the joy of growing up and experiencing new things. We pray for their families. While we know these children are safe in your arms, we pray that their families will know your comfort as they struggle with the loss of their loved ones. We pray for the continued work for justice in our nation and right here in our own city. With so much diversity in our world, it's easy to be leery of the stranger, the one who does not look or act like we do. Help us to see that we all come from you and are made in your image. Help our leaders to remember that injustice for one is injustice for all and everyone must be seen as equal in each other's eyes just as we are all equal and equally loved by you. And God, please remind us that violence is never the answer. We pray for officers Lou and Ramos killed yesterday in this struggle for justice. We pray for their families and friends who are dealing with their loss. Give us the strength of body and will to continue this work of justice peacefully until it has been completed to your standards and by your standards, not ours. And finally, God, we pray for all our neighbors in special need of your touch at this time, those ill in body or spirit, Louisa Osborne, the Wachowski family, all those who are named and unnamed on our hearts and only you know. We pray that they feel your healing presence in their lives and feel the comfort that only you can bring. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus, that ultimate gift of yourself that you gave to us, your Son. Amen.